these two phrases, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and laities and gentle nuns. Right? There's a, there's a difference there, right? Laities and gentle nuns sounds a lot like ladies and gentlemen, right? So if, if I'm John Kennedy and I say, well, the idea is this, right? <clears throat> if I say idea and you say idea, that, there's, a, there's a difference at the level of sound. It doesn't make any difference. It's still the same word idea. But when I say ladies and gentlemen and laities and gentle nuns, right? Those sound differences make a difference. So it's by studying those differences and similarities, it's differences where there is no difference, and differences where there are differences, that people begin to think about and break out what are the elements of semiology. Is that working for you? What's the connection between you said semiology? Yeah, I was using the word semiology. You use uh, in this conversation we could use the word like semantics or semiotics. Well, the difference, in, what the difference in the example that you gave is at the Phoneme morphine levels? Or, or well, it depends. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I was trying to avoid phoneme and morphine because yeah. we wouldn't necessarily all know what those are. Yeah, and if you get into like yeah. I mean, I could just sigh and roll my eyes and not say a word, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we do it in language too, right? You know, it's like how we say a word, the next word, and then that's. So that's another layer yeah. on top of that. That's part of something else. Okay. Uh, Taylor wants to get in here. And then I want to say something about the Sir Olinsky discussion that we didn't touch on that might bring some clarity or deeper confusion for the discussion. Yeah. If an uh, idea or a character in the Shakespeare play, yeah. like Laertes is, um, would that denotation make a difference? For would, would what make a difference? So would Laertes and gentle nuns, or, or nuns, is that what it was? It, and ladies and gentlemen? This is it, a, it's a, a example I'm taking from James Joyce's Spinning and Switch. Right, yeah. so it's a different denotation. So you know that those denotations signify something else, you know, those different phrases. So Yeah, laity versus ladies. Right. Nuns versus men. Yeah. Right, so then idea and idea. We know that there's no denotation for idea. There, so, could, there could be, I mean, idea could be a completely different word than idea. Right. But in this instance, it's not. Right, so does there have to be some sort of invention then to identify the difference? Um, I don't know if I use the word convention, but there would certainly have to be a different use of the words. So if I use, let's say idea means uh, something like uh, joy, and idea means something like a concept, right? Then, then where is the difference there? It would probably be in the use of the word, okay? But there, but there could, but there's also differences in both denotations and connotations, because they're because they're different words. Right. Yeah. In, on this example, yeah. well, Joyce uses another one that I love. Uh, it's a great example if you're thinking about this problem. Uh, in in Finnegan's Wake, it's oil Mary full of grease. <laughs> For those of you who are <laughs> who are Catholics and want to have a reverent moment. <laughs> Um, let me say quickly, because how long are you the announcements going to take? Three seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me point out, uh, some of you were catching on to this, and um, I think this is uh, this will help to understand the difference between Searle and, and Minsky a little bit. And we were, we were picking up on it, but it wasn't explicitly stated. Um, when Searle is describing the uh, nature of consciousness, because of the essence of consciousness, he talks about awareness of qualia, awareness of these sensations, okay? When he starts arguing with Minsky, he talks about understanding, okay? So he's saying, I, you'll never create a computer that understands, right? Is, what he, is the argument that he's making. You can create a computer that does this kind of computational uh, manipulation, or, or computation is the manipulation of symbols in Searle's discourse. But there's an ambiguity, the, the, the discourse and the argument between Searle and Minsky is, is working an ambiguity in the language that they're not really paying careful attention to. So when Searle starts out with his definition of consciousness, he's talking about awareness of qualia. And qual you know, I don't really like this word qualia. We, we can probably talk about it later, but he said sense perceptions, uh, things of that nature. Okay, when he gets involved in the conversation and the argument with Minsky and they're working out the example, instead of talking about awareness, they're talking about understanding. Now, what I like when, when I'm trying to think and I, and I uh, 
don't want to get kind of lost in lots of terms and categories and so on. I just like to return to our ordinary uses of these words. What's the difference between awareness and understanding? Are they the same? No. No, you say no? Tom? Can you um, be aware of rules and not understand them? Right, I'm aware of all of you in this room. Do I understand you? <laughs> right? You're aware of me. Do you understand me? Right? So th there's, a, there's a sliding here in the, in the right? So, so, so Searle wants to talk about, uh, he wants to define consciousness in terms of awareness, but what he's actually wanting, uh, what, he's, what he's saying the machines can't do is understand. Right? So Searle has some kind of a, uh, maybe it's articulated in some places in his, in his writing. He's got a book on speech actor, and he's got a book on intentionality. One of his more recent, uh, more popular books is this thing called Mind, Language, and Society. And I, I've been trying to work my way through it for about less. You know, I, I put, pick it up and put it down. But it would seem to me that if you want to understand Searle's position, you have to, if he's using these terms carefully, you'd want to really figure out, well, how does he think about or understand the relation, or what does he, what does he claim is the relationship between understanding and awareness. And that's the conversation I'd like to have with Searle, even before we start talking about, you know, uh, do, can, can uh, computers, uh, are computers conscious? So, because it's, it, the distinction becomes immediately clear when I just say, you know, awareness is not understanding. Right? So the, 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 the uh, philosopher, I'm going to stop there with this remark, if you want to see where I'm coming from, though, I'll just give you a quick footnote. The philosopher that I rely on heavily to think about the nature of understanding, or what he often calls the understanding of understanding, is a, is a German philosopher by the name of Hans Georg Gottman. And he wrote a very important book called Truth and Method. Uh, and and uh, so if you want to think about this problem, and from the first, Gottman uh, was a friend, uh, he worked with Heidegger until Heidegger uh, became a person impossible to support, really, because of his politics. So, um, announcements? If we run out of time, we don't know. Hold up. Um, the Human Computer International Organization is going to, we're trying to take a trip down to MoMA and down to the Smithsonian uh, to see the video games art exhibit in uh, New York City. Or we're thinking we want to go down the spring break in March, uh, beginning the 18th, right, that week. So we're trying to, we're going to get two days. The only way we're, the, the trip is completely free, but the only way we can get the money is if we get at least like 10 or 14 people to come. Um, so I need people that are going to say, get on board and say, yes, I want to come. I have food, bring life for beer and food. Everything's going to be taken care of. The transportation, the tickets there, the hotel, everything. But we need people to be on board.